Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Technique Violator Leather One-Piece Race Suit, available at Revzilla.com. I have Akeem to my left. Akeem is tall and thin, so you're seeing a tall, thin guy build here in the new Technique Violator. 6'2", 175, about a 39, 40-inch chest. Akeem's wearing a size 42. This suit comes in three colors and they go in 10 different sizes, or I'm sorry, sizes 40 through 50. So as we can see, Keem's got it all spread out. He's a tall guy. You see he has a little bit of extra room in the waist, but that's what happens when you're tall and thin. He's about a 32 inch waist. But if we look at it, the first thing that stands out, there's a lot of perf here, and this is the black, white, red version. 1.4 mil cowhide throughout the entire suit, and you're gonna see a lot of different things going on. But the big thing, especially for those of you that are your track day weekend warrior, or your guy that lives in the Northeast that likes to ride in a one-piece suit, you're getting a lot of perforation. You're getting a lot of that breathability. A lot of times we see some Euro suits that aren't gonna come with that perf, and that's something that here in the States, a lot of people gravitate towards. We need the perforation. You also have these Kevlar stretch panels that are gonna be under the arm, go all the way down the inside of the sleeve, airflow and stretch. So Akeem is a little bit more thin athletic build. If you had bigger arms, you'd be able to be accommodated here and you'd allow to still be able to breathe by having that stretch area within, within the arm panel here. So from a protection standpoint, you're going to have your Knox Flex Form Knee. You have your V2 elbow, which is a different style of elbow and, and forearm protection here in the Violator suit. And then it's a little different with the Technique suit as we get up closer to the shoulder. So we have our Technique Airblade system, which is a vented TPU polyurethane hard part that then is backed by foam. And the CE rating really comes from the absorption and impact resistance of this external hard part, which actually adds a ventilation quality, which is really nice as well. Now staying with the front of the suit, some other features here, you're gonna see YKK zippers, we pull it back, you're going to see it's lined. We do have our lining, it's our Airtex lining, which is antimicrobial and hypoallergenic, but the lining of the suit is not removable. As I start to move down here a little bit, we're gonna see the perforation scheme be become continued. You see more Kevlar stretch panels on the insides of the legs. We have our elasticated panels across the tops of the knees. You're looking at a suit that's sub $800. There's a lot of bang for the buck here. And then we have our sliders, and somebody put our sliders on the front. Our sliders should be on the outside. Maybe Technic did that when they sent us, sent us the suit, but that's not as, not as well positioned as it should be. And remember, you have that Knox Flex Form armor in the knee, and it's gonna come down um, about halfway into the shin. Nitpick on the suit, you're looking sub $800. I'd always love to see full shin protection go all the way down, and this one stops about two-thirds of the way down. Turn and face away from me, Akeem. So we look at the side of the suit, staying down low. I have my elasticated stretch panel for the calf area that's gonna be on the lateral on the outside of the suit. As I start to work my way back up, you're going to notice I have my elasticated yoke here on the lower back. And then again, more perforation on the elbow. Again, the perforated panels. Anytime you perforate leather, you're actually slightly weakening it. It's something that they account for, so they do the perforation or the perf leather away from the impact zones. And as we move up, you see more elasticated panels. Hit the light race position for me, Akeem. You're gonna see that stretch panel here, the elasticated stretch panel that goes across his shoulder blade that leads right into our speed hump. And it is a vented speed hump. It's a full size speed hump. We have some perf along the back. Turn backwards for me, Akeem. So you can see starting, starting around the, the hump, full perf here on the top of the hump, and you're going to have uh, a neoprene area on the back of the neck so it doesn't chafe, and then we even have some light punctuation getting back down here towards the small of the back. And I'm, what I'm gonna do one more time is I'm gonna kinda cut, work my way down, and I wanna show all of the stretch panels along the backs of the knees, along the backs of the calves, and you can see our entry and exit YKK zipper here, single zipper on the backs of the calves for inside and out. You can also upgrade the hip armor to the Knox hip armor here on the violator. Step up from the violator, come back around to the front for me, Akeem. Step up from the violator is gonna be the accelerator. There's also an even more basic suit, which is called the chicane from Technique, but really this is Goldilocks' suit. It's gonna sit right in the middle, have a medium strength or a medium offering on a lot of the tech features, give you a lot of what you need as far as the basics done well to get to the track with not, it's not going to have some of those nuances for more of the seasoned or every weekend type of racer that that you know it's it's uh, that you get into into some of the higher end suits so let us know what you think 
of the Violator if you're seeing it for the first time, if you're currently riding in it. Leave us your comment on our product detail page or certainly on our YouTube page at RevZilla TV, which you can always subscribe to. We do new videos every week, and break down new gear. We want to hear your thoughts, your questions. We're always happy to answer them or hear your feedback. If you have any questions about fitment, about functionality, about the Violator within the Technique range or how it stacks up against any of the other sub thousand dollar suits here at RevZilla.com, shoot our gear geeks a line, CS at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee, you send it back to us. And you can always earn teams of the cash to be applied to your next order by continuing to shop with us. Thank you for watching our detailed breakdown of the Technique Violator suit. Available at RevZilla.com slash Technique. I'm Anthony. See you next time.